So I thought I'd talk about microscopes. Um, I used to have one of these microscopes. Um, it was very nice. And um, it was great. I loved it. But it's very big, very heavy, took up lots of room. And um, I got an offer um, that I couldn't refuse, so I sold it. Um, and then immediately um, hated that I had sold it. <laughs> because it is good for uh, really, really fine stuff. Um, I have a nice stereo microscope, which I use, you know, 95% of the time. But when you need one of these, you need one of these. And so I thought, well... Maybe I don't need all of it. Maybe I just need pieces of it. You know, I, I need I need a, a good objective lens. Um, I really don't need to be able to look through it because I'm just going to put a camera, um, and I can just look at the image through the camera. Um, so um, I thought maybe I could just strip this down and and uh, do with uh, a very very little of it. And um, but the one thing that these have that makes them so valuable is they have what's called dark field illumination. Um, you can you can set this up so the illumination comes from the bottom so if you're doing like um, biological slides and stuff you need to see through the material you can go from the bottom but what I really use these for is for the top illumination which is called dark field illumination so let me let me describe what, what dark field illumination is. Alright there we go we can see it better now. Um, so um, you look through the eyepieces and it goes down through the objective, so that's the normal path. But there's this big thing in the back here, there's this light bulb in the back and some condensers that make the light parallel, and then the light comes down and actually light comes in from the top. And you have to have very special objectives called dark field objectives that allow the light to come from the top and from you to be able to see from the top both. Right? So that's a bit complicated. So let's let's look here at a different uh, a different picture that'll make it a little clearer. Um, okay, there we go. All right, so this this is not to scale, but it gives you the idea. Um, there's a light bulb back here, and a condenser that makes the light parallel. And then there's this mirror that looks like a donut. Okay, there's a hole in the middle of it, so you can you can look down. So so uh, up here you would have your uh, your eyepiece, right? You have some lenses in here and your eyepiece. And uh, you would uh, you would look look down this direction, and you would go down the tube of the microscope, and then the objective of the microscope, and and that's how a microscope works. But what this has is it has this ring of light. So the light bulb goes to this donut mirror, and there's this donut of light that comes down the tube also. So you look down this dark area, and then there's this bright light in this donut shape coming down. And then the dark field um, objectives have either a um, lens here that directs the light or it can actually have a mirror uh, a mirror at the bottom here where the light strikes the mirror and then, it, then it, and then it bounces off of it and it hits the object that you're trying to look at. So these dark field uh, eyepieces are um, uh, quite fancy and you need a fancy microscope to use them because you need to create this ring of light and everything. So that's why these microscopes are so darn expensive. Um, and I thought, well, I guess that's what you're paying for and that's why I got a good price for my microscope. But I still wanted to have something like this and I really wanted this dark field illumination. So I went on to eBay and um, found, some, uh, found some objectives. Okay, so this is a dark field objective. Uh, a lot of these nice microscopes were made by Olympus. Um, so this this objective has a bit of rust on it, but it doesn't mean that the glass is rusty. The glass is just fine. Um, this is a Neo 10. Uh, it means it's a 10x objective. Neo is their uh, group of lenses that have dark field illumination in them. So if we look from this direction, uh, let's see if I can find another light source here so you can kind of see what's going on here. So you can see there's there's a there's a center section there. Um, let's see there. There's this center section here so that's where you look through the microscope and uh, that is uh, where you see the image. And then there's this ring here 
and this ring is where the donut of light goes through. And so the light goes around the outside, and you look through the inside. So the light has to come down the tube, and then here there must be a little mirror or a lens or something that makes the light go towards the center. Um, so, let's see if we can't open it up. Alright, so we can see the tube here, so this is a little bit better. So this is the actual lens, that's the microscope part. And then there's this lens down here that's a toroidal lens, it's a, a donut lens. And it does the job of taking the light that's coming down the tube and, and, and focusing it at an angle um, in a donut shape. So it's a ring light, so it creates a ring around uh, the object you're looking at. So this is a pretty expensive little piece of glass down here, this toroidal lens. One of, the, one of the reasons these guys are expensive, but these guys have kind of got kind of gone out of fashion, and a lot of people will sell you one that's rusty or doesn't look so nice. So you can pick these up for maybe forty dollars. Um, so I did that. I, I I got some of these for forty dollars. Um, the cheapest ones are probably the ten X. Those seem to be pretty common. Twenty uh, X will cost you a little bit more. Forty X a little bit more. Um, so, so now I have uh, at least part of the microscope, I have the objective, but I need a way to create a donut of light and that would be very expensive. Um, so um, I thought, well, you know, if I just need to create a donut of light, that's the same thing as a ring light. What if I had a super tiny little ring light that I could put in here? Um, so I said, well, I'm clever, I can make my own. So, uh, I laid out a little PC board uh, that has, uh, let me show you a loaded one. So here's, here's some that have the LEDs on them. So they have uh, six LEDs in a, in a ring. And so this is a tiny little ring light. Um, so uh, I have a objective and I have a tiny little ring light. Uh, you might even be able to do something like that, but I thought, oh, I'm more clever than that. Uh, I can open this up and I can put the ring light inside and then just put it all back together again. Um, so uh, that's what I did. Um, and I uh, made these such that there are uh, there's a resistor and then three LEDs and then a resistor and three LEDs. So you connect here and here with 12 volts. This is a 120 ohm dropping resistor. So 120 ohms and some LEDs and they turn on. Um, so um, let me show you then what I did. Um, move these out of the way. Uh, so here's one that's complete. Um, the ring light is inside. I drilled a hole in the side of the um, objective and brought some wires up. So um, all I do now is I can screw this onto a microscope. I can put 12 volts here and then it lights up with a ring light. Um, and I have uh, a couple of these now. I have a 5, 10, 20, and 40. Um, I, I, I shop eBay, wait, wait for them to go super cheap. I've bought them really, really cheap. Uh, like I said, the, the $40 is going to cost a little bit more than the $10 or the $20. Um, the $40 is not all that valuable, I think. It's way, way too, too much power, but a, a 10 x is, is a really good workhorse. And if you need to get close, the 20 x is, is quite good. Um, if you don't have a stereo microscope that has a low power, then the 5x can be of value. Um, I don't find it very valuable because I have the, the stereo microscope, but uh, but these work pretty good. So let me find. Let me show you what my final my final setup looks like. Okay, uh, so this is what I did. Um, I wanted still to have a microscope, so I bought this. Um, Tasco microscope. Now Tasco is a very, very cheap microscope. Almost uh, 
might be below student grade, uh, almost like a toy. Um, but they're an old toy. They were built in the 1950s or 60s and stuff. So they're all metal construction. So even though they were kind of, kind of toy or st I'd say student grade, um, they're, they're, they're quite good construction. Uh, they're all metal construction. Um, they have a nice uh, rack and pinion focusing. They have a fine focusing adjustment. It's not the greatest in the world, but um, uh, what I really like is the size. This is a tiny little microscope. Um, and what I did was I took their their tube and objectives and eyepiece and everything, and I threw that away. Um, so um, I I took the, the rack and pinion, and um, I screwed it onto just a tube. This is uh, uh, what optics people uh, have one inch tubes, they're, they're threaded tubes and they're just for building uh, kind of like breadboarding optics. They're just they're just a uh, clear tube. And what I did with the clear tube is I bought an adapter. So uh, Thor Labs, uh, T-H-O-R, Thor Labs, uh, sells an adapter that goes from one inch thread to uh, microscope thread. Um, so I bought this adapter. That cost me about $26, something like that. Uh, Thor Labs. It's called an SM, SM1EXT or an SM1A12. SM1A12. That sounds familiar. I think that's the part number. So that's the adapter that I used. And it, it goes from, like I said, this one inch to these 26 millimeter... Uh, 25 millimeter. I don't remember. It's a, it's a funny metric thread that's on the um, microscope uh, Olympus dark field um, objectives. And then on this side, um, I got myself a um, uh, adapter. I have a four thirds format camera, and this is an adapter uh, that goes from uh, C mount to four thirds. So these are about two bucks. <laughs> really, really cheap. And then on this end is an adapter that is one inch tube to C-mount. Um, so that all goes together. Here's my wires for my for my 12 volts. And um, this goes on here like such. And then uh, the, the, I'm, being, I'm, I'm using the camera to video this, but the the camera then would mount on top of this, and uh, I have dark field illumination focus. I have a whole microscope. It's super teeny tiny. It's about uh, 11 inches by 4 inches, so it's teeny tiny. I can put it in my put it in my drawer, um, and it takes great images uh, because it's using uh, Olympus optics. So if you watched my um, uh, 2N222 uh, transistor video, uh, the last closest zoom was taken with this setup here, with the uh, 10x, uh, 10x objective. I also used it, I had a video on some old LEDs, I, I used the setup on those. Um, but uh, yeah, all you have to do is make some little ring lights, objective, and uh, poor man's dark field microscope.